Hello and welcome everyone, Ducky O'Brien here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a preview of a game called Alpaca Ball All Stars. That's right, you're playing with alpacas. I kind of confuse them with llamas all the time. Anyways, Alpaca Ball All Stars was developed by Salt Castle Studio. It was published by Badland Publishing, Leofull, and Castle Studio. Uh, those are for some different regions. And it was released onto the Switch and PC on October 15, 2020 with an MSRP of $19.99. I did say it would be on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, but I couldn't find those listings, so... Uh, either I was mistaken or it'll be coming out later. Anyways, let's get into it. That's right, you're playing soccer with alpacas. What more do you need? Uh, it's very similar to Rocket League. If you lower the skill curve quite a bit, there's still uh, a lot of stuff to learn here. Now I just got a note here from the very beginning that there is no online multiplayer as far as I can tell. You can use Steam Remote Play together. In my experience, Remote Play together is not quite there yet. So take that as you will. Uh, there's local multiplayer if you have controllers. Anyways. I beat the game in about 5 hours, and I got all 12 achievements. So it's a straightforward game. Let's uh, let's play... Some career mode. I don't know if I can do it considering I beat the game. But yeah, these are the controls. They show it all the time. So in the career mode, you have a map. Like this. You start the training mode. It's kind of funny, but you can go on like a... I don't know what this is, not quite a canoe. When you go into water. It's like a whole story about you becoming good at alpaca ball and then going to Europe to play and then coming back to gather your friends for the World Cup. It's pretty wholesome. Now the hardest level by far is when you fight your dad in a dream. But you know, apparently he has passed and you fight him in heaven and this fight is so hard. <laughs> It's so hard. Anyways, it's because he has the spoon ability and that lets you control the ball and put it into the goal. And it's a one-on-one -on -one battle. You know what? Why don't I show it? I'll show it first and then we'll show off a few levels of the campaign and then go into the regular match. Okay, so Halo and glasses and a goatee. And I'll show you guys how I beat it. So, if he doesn't have his spoon power, I just run into the ball. I sprint into it by pressing shift. And after that, I just literally stand here and guard it. Sometimes he'll score it into his own goal. It's gonna get spoon power soon. Yeah, there it is. You have to block that as I'll go in. And the reason why I'm not going after it. Oh, no, that, was, that was close. Is that uh, if he has a spoon power? There you go. Ah, ha, 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 ha. If you go after the ball and he has a spoon power, there's no way you're gonna get back in time. Also, I stand here because. If that happens, you'll score a goal. And he has a spoon power. Just stay here. Oh. Couldn't block it in time. Yeah, it's very hard. It's actually a hard fight. Against the AI. No! Oh, that was so close. Sometimes the AI is like disgustingly good and other times they're so dumb. Like they'll score into their own goal. Oh, there it comes. There it comes. Oh, what? Oh, my body was supposed to block that. Unfortunate. Now it's not always one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes it's two-on-two, three-on-three, Some sometimes four-on-four. Four. Um, you also have powers, as you saw, the spoon power is one of them. Uh oh 
No, what? Okay. The spoon power is one of them. There are others, like uh, you get an extra long neck. Um, you get like football shoulder pads, which will knock on an alpaca in one hit. Uh, there's an angle one where you can control which angle it shoots at, which is really good. And uh, there's one where it makes everyone tiny. Kind of feels like Super Mario Kart. Oh, I thought I'd get that. Yeah, as I said, this one's, this one's kind of difficult. Yeah, if it hits my body, it's supposed to stop it. I lost this one, but I just wanted to show you guys how I beat it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it gets me every time. Oh, not like this. Okay. Oh! Wow, he actually scored. Now it's tied. I might have a chance here. If it ties, it goes into a death match. There's no. Oh no! That was easy to block! Oh, I, I tried to do a. Oh, go on! Yeah! <laughs> okay. That's gonna go into overtime. Okay, yeah, you have to defend, otherwise he's just gonna spoon it in. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, please! <laughs> Unfortunate. Close match. Wait, if you implement that playstyle, uh, you will have a greater chance of winning some of the harder matches. Alright, let me just go. So there are different ball types, like one is a bomb, there's a dice, there's a football, there's a beach ball. All of them have different properties. And then you have different allies. They don't really do anything, they just look different. And then some of the opponents you play have like gimmicks. Like that, one will, one will always have a certain power, etc. Okay, I'll play like a game. I don't know if, um... It's the last level. I don't know if it'll do a story. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is like when you're rec recruiting all of your teammates, your friends. There's like a little story. Yeah, okay, pretty wholesome. So, you can dash into the enemy alpacas and knock him out. In fact, you can dash into your friendlies, I'm pretty sure. That was a nice shot by number 5. <laughs> you can do a super charge shot by double typing space. Oh no. So, like, if you see a guy- oh, there's an armadillo. It'll knock people down. It's a little difficult to control where you're gonna hit it. So there is a little bit of a skill ceiling. It's not it's not like Rocket League, you know, where people are air juggling balls everywhere and you know at high levels of play. Oh, oh. No, the armadillo! <laughs> he aimed it at me on purpose. And yeah, sometimes the AI is really good. But sometimes it's really bad. Oh, nice shot! 
Oh oh. Oh. Yeah, they score it into their own goal. Man, it is so, so infuriating when- Oh! Oh no, I did it. It's so infuriating when your own team scores it into your own goal. No, get out of here. Are you kidding me? It's armadillo wants wants my booty. went into her own goal. Oh, that was a nice shot there. Oh, no, you saw that? Number three charged into my own goal to knock me out. Manners. Easy win. Yeah, so the matches are pretty short and then you can do this. Very silly. Oh, and then there's supposed to be a cutscene after that. But you travel the country, playing alpaca ball, you end up with the... at the World Cup. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, over here. World Cup. <laughs> Uh, and I guess I can show it. I'll just show off the match a little bit, and then I'm gonna go into a regular mode. Regular game. It's so hype though. Look at this. It's 4 and 4. That guy with the top hat is evil, by the way. Don't do it, don't do it guys. Oh, I missed. Okay, number seven is goalie now. Angle. Oh, go watch that now. Thankfully, the AI doesn't really know how to use it. It's not like intelligent enough. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> it's the magnifying glass. I think this game would actually have legs. I guess you could say neck. If uh, if it had online multiplayer. So I think it's, it's pretty fun. And there is a skill seal. Oh, oh, I almost threw that.
Yeah, see, that time it didn't know what it was doing. Ooh, nice. Yeah, there's some certain gimmicks, like, in the World Cup, like, your team doesn't get powers, but they do. No! Oh, not the spoon. It's so annoying. I thought I hit that. <laughs> it's my bad. I'll let my team down. They're fa fast enough. Good thing it missed. Oh, he has a long neck. <laughs> that one looks disturbing. No, leave me alone! Action bodies flying. I'm actually shooting to his own goal. Oh, I guess the football pads, he'll knock everyone out if, just by touching him. Uh oh. Oh no! Ah! Last, but it's okay. Boo, boo, birds. Okay, now I'll show off the main mode. So here you can set the time. You can set the uh, the mode. Now you can set the ball. Oh, there's a puck, I forgot. We'll do a random. We play, uh... Power ups on... Vamos a tocar do a 2 on 2. With random balls. And you'll get to see all of them. The beach ball... It's pretty bouncy, it's big, so it's easy to block. The dice is a cube, so it's hard to aim it. Just rolls around, plops around. The bomb will explode and reset. It'll knock you out if you're close to it. And then the puck will slide. No! Oh, teammate, it let me down.
Oh, I got the football. You just touch him, knock him out. I'm just gonna knock him out. Strategic knockout. Oh, I don't have any more. Darn. So last. It put a minute to make it short. Um, so I think if you have controllers, you can play local multiplayer because the game has the remote play together. So that means if you have a copy of the game, you can potentially invite other people who don't even have the game to play with you. Uh, the problem is basically... Hold escape to quit this, by the way. I have to figure that out. <laughs> uh, the way it works is that it'll stream video of the game to their PC and then it'll take their inputs and stream it to you. So... If you don't have good upload, then it'll... It'll be pretty laggy, and another thing I noticed was sometimes it doesn't work well. I was doing it with a friend. We were testing out all the LEGO games. Some of them would work, and others wouldn't. Even if you had controller, um, it was a little iffy. But yeah, take that as you will. Uh, it's a pretty little enjoyable game. It's very short, you can totally S rank it. Get all the achievements, unlock everything that you can in like 5 hours. And then you can play a local multiplayer. But yeah, I think if I have it online, definitely would have like a small cult following at the very least. Just there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please, blah, blah, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Oh, I'm losing my voice. It's a little squeaky. I don't know if you can hear it. Ah, some water definitely helps. <laughs> Alright. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And once again, the game is Alpaca Ball All Stars, developed by Salt Castle Studio, published by Bandlab Publishing, Beautiful, and Castle Studio. And it's as of now out now on the Switch and PC for $19.99. All right, thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there, and catch you guys next time.